Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time, and I need to clear my throat like a professional YouTuber. <clears throat> because it is 2.01 a.m. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mary. She says she can't really hear it when I do trailers. We'll find out. Today we're here to watch something I am so excited for. I, I can't even put it into words. Let I'm just let's we just need to get to this because I'm very excited. Today we're here and we're gonna do the red band trailer. Watch out, motherfuckers. It's the red band trailer. For Evil Dead Rise. If you want to watch this trailer without swallowing this, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and we're going to geek out over this together. I just know this is going to be geek out worthy. I'll get into all that in a second. In the meantime, I do hate to remind you that we, well, I mean, that the world is weird. Times are tough, things are strange, but I like to remind you that we. We'll get through this. We will get through this together. And of course, we like to say that together. It's a little mantra thing. It puts a little smile on your face. Chemicals in the brain, power of positive thinking. I hear from people all the time. This makes their days a little bit brighter. I get it. I didn't think it would until I started doing it. So if I can make you a little happier every day with a few words, I'm going to do it. Some people hate it. Some people are miserable. I hope you find help. I hope you find your way out of your misery. And uh, we all need to because you never know when your time is going to come. And you're going to hopefully not be regretful that you didn't spend more time enjoying your life and, you know, thinking of the positive things. It's not great for everybody, but if you can, you should. But uh, so we say it together like that. So let's do it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. Sorry, I really was trying to do this a little bit faster, but it is two in the morning and it's been a long day. There's been a lot of alcohol, which is going to make me more excited for this huge, 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 huge Evil Dead fan. I'm more mostly particular to the original Evil Dead. I like that it's hyper insanity is more terrifying to me than the slightly more comedic goofiness of part two. Although I love part two and the making of part two is one of my favorite things. Army of Darkness, fun as hell. Ash versus Evil Dead, my publito. Oh my God, I love Ash versus Evil Dead. It is like perfection in a series. Bruce Campbell, can do no wrong he is the chin and um you know and listen i just love this stuff i love the remake or the remake uh i thought you know was it uh eddie for Dez? oh freddie oh my god listen the 2013 evil dead gruesome brutal loved it very excited about this setting a high rise evil dead rise okay there's a green band trailer there's a red band trailer my only confusion is I was mildly disappointed at first to hear it was going to go straight to HBO Max and not in theaters, but then I got excited because I was like, well, people are going to, there's going to be tension release where people want to laugh in this and I don't want to do that. I want to maintain the tension. So I'm like, at least I get to watch it at home at like 3 a.m. in a dark night, you know, a little alcohol that's not $20 a drink for a double. But now apparently it is going to theaters. I don't know. It's probably, it's probably has something to do with a certain clown being very successful. But whatever, man. I need to go see this. Mary loves the campiness of Evil Dead 2. Loves Army of Darkness. Enjoyed the hell out of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Can't handle the more real, brutal, gruesome gore. I have a feeling that's what we're going to get here. We're going to find out. I have a vo I didn't watch the teaser for this because I don't love... I really dislike, personally, this new trend. And it's not specifically to them. Uh, teasers for a trailer. Like just show me your trailer. But I'm a huge fan of the art of trailers because it is a slightly different art form than filmmaking itself. It's my favorite art form. That's it. We've waited so long for this. Bruce Campbell, Sam Raimi, uh, they're definitely producing. I don't know if Robert Tappert's involved. I don't know the deal there, but um, maybe. They know what they're doing. Let's watch. I just need to watch. Come on. Warning, red band. <laughs> Split die up in her shot of it. I was just a little girl. I asked my 
What is this, Danny? I found it. April is shaping up to be a great birthday month. Uh, yeah, that does look awesome. I'm not going to lie. I, I have one or two minor, very minor reservations. But overall, I'm going to love the hell out of that. I think just going by this trailer, just preconceived notions, which I will try to get rid of and go into the movie and just let it be what it wants to be, like I do. Uh, I do feel like, is it okay, it's probably going to be a little under 2013. That's my anticipation. And I have very specific reasons that I made drunkenly, because uh, it is like two something in the morning, if I didn't mention that, um, not fully articulate here. So I apologize. But I have to get these things done now because I got stuff to do. Uh, let's get the negatives out of the way. I, I, do, I don't know. Okay. The biggest thing that pops into mind when the demonically possessed mother is at the door in the peephole with the little girl. I feel like, and maybe I haven't seen these movies in a while, but I have. I feel like there was a thing in the original films where somebody would come back to you and look fairly normal. Like the blood splatter and all that stuff would be like, it would disappear. Like they'd be like, oh no, but they would still seem a little off. Like, oh no, honey, mommy's fine. She just had a headache or whatever. And like, like you'd see that through the people and the door would open and they'd be demonic, you know, or something. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just my brain being weird, but... So I don't know like that the kid would be like, wow, you look like a demon and you're covered in blood. <laughs> okay. There is some J-horror stuff in here, if that's still a term. Um, it feels like Japanese horror. There's some almost... And again, I just it's, it's so hard to tell from these brief little moments, like cliched little bits. Now, let's get that out of the way. That's pretty much it. Everything else looks pretty fantastic. The tone is there. The violence is going to be messed up. It looks like there is a ton of blood it doesn't look terribly cg i think some of us were a little concerned it is 2023 cg it's not cg is not a bad word but i do feel like in an evil dead movie you are looking for a healthy dose of practical effects i think that's half the fun the magic trick of the makeup um so hopefully that's still there and uh you know and again hearing it's evil dead rise hearing it's set in a high rise which maybe i got that wrong there did not seem to be a lot of this set in a high rise. Some of it maybe in an apartment in a high rise, but a, more of the trailers seem to take place at a cabin. Which hey, Evil Dead, it should be in a cabin. It should be in the woods. Maybe not always. I think that was kind of the appeal is that we're going to take it to a completely new location, but they are still going to spend a chunk of time at a very recognizable type of location. I don't know, man. Like I think, and again. This is the problem with movies that I'm having with this trailer is sometimes we get our expectations to a certain place and we go into something and then it, it's a little underwhelming because of what we expected. But I do like to, I prefer to give something credit and judge it for what it's trying to be, not what I hoped it would be. And there's so much good stuff in this that I'm not, not excited for it. I'm still very excited for it. Definitely going to theaters. 
I do see this and think, yeah, cheese grater to the leg, like no comedy really at all, except for the line about you would make a good mommy because you're good at lying to kids, which is a very good line. I don't think this is going to be, I don't think Mary can handle this. She could not handle the remake. Um, but okay. Anyways, I'm still excited for it. I'm like maybe 2% underwhelmed. So that's still a pretty strong, considering my expectations were through the roof. That's still pretty strong. So I'm terribly excited. All right. Well, anyways, Evil Dead Rise. What do you think about it? What's your favorite Evil Dead movie or series? Who's your favorite character? Outside of Ash, it's going to be Pablo. Come on. Come on. I mean, listen, Kelly is amazing, too. She's probably my third. But and then, I mean, Bob and Joe, that guy. I can't think of the character name. You know I me. Mean, come on. Anyways, uh, good times. Let me hear what you have to say. Uh, comment below for sure. Looking forward to more anxious to buy tickets. Other than that, though, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. Check out my music if you want to. You might like it. You might not. High energy rock and roll, punk rock, pop punk, maybe. Uh, look up Eric Butts, Spotify, anywhere you listen to music. Try a couple songs. See what you think. If you like it even in the slightest, you're probably going to be really jazzed about my new stuff coming. I'm so thrilled. These new songs that are coming up. And, of course, is, uh, I'm going to be making some short films this year. Still, no matter what, my shit ain't going to be that good. I'm so out of practice. And even if I was fully in practice, I haven't hit that level. But... Hopefully they'll still be good. If you want to see some of my previous filmmaking work, you can check out ericbutts.com and I'll get that website in some better shape at some point. And of course, there's a lot more ways to support the channel with a lot more content and the links in the description below. Just click that see more button to see more butts. All right. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to shut up. So I hopefully, Mary has not messaged me. Maybe I'm not that loud. It's not me as much as the bass in the trailers that might bother her. Anyway, she has to get up in like four hours and go to work. So... <laughs> All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go watch some more stuff. I'm going to get excited about Evil Dead because I always am. I don't. I can't even tell you how many, like a lot of you, I can't tell you how many copies of Evil Dead I've owned via VHS, Laserdisc, DVD. God, so many copies of the DVD because they made all these like different art covers and like, you know, um, um, you know Blu-ray. And now 4K. Yeah, I have, I, yeah, I have it in 4K. Now that, I fucking love this franchise. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Go watch some more stuff. I'll see you all. Later, Is Ted Raimi in this? Extra points if so. Later. <laughs>